Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Real Hazardous. Today we're coming out here in the river, taking the little boat, a little incognito, and um, we're gonna try to catch some bull reds, and then maybe hit a few spots for flounder, stuff like that. So, seems like they're just starting to bite. It's good, prepping, getting ready for the tournament, having some fun, and uh, we'll see what happens. All right, guys. Can't even get all the all the lines out. We gotta fish on. Yeah. Oh. This one was on a uh, greenie. It's a redfin herring. Dead one. Just keep them in the freezer after we catch them offshore, and if we don't use them live. I bought crabs for no reason. <laughs> I'm sure we'll get some some on crabs what side too. Do you think you're gonna come up there? Uh, I'm gonna try to do uh, my side. He's been taking some line. Still taking line. Yeah. Is he a tournament winner? Uh, maybe. <laughs> should I should I wave off that big ship? Say, hey, we got a fish on. Give us some space. <laughs> like, yeah, whatever. This is a custom made net. Actually, we found it on the highway, but it was bent to perfection. Oh, oh man, that's fish. a big old fish. Look at the size of that one. There we go. Right. River monster. Dang, Jeremy. Jeez, oh, look how fat he is. How big does that one go up to? Uh, 39 and 38. Uh-oh, you might have out. He's there with that by at least a couple of them. Yeah. Dang. Is that 38 to where? To my finger. To at least 40. All right. Back and get it. Well, here we go, guys. Good release of the big fish. Good way to start in the morning. So we had a little bit of trouble this morning starting the boat. Yeah, let me give you guys a tip. Now I crank my motor at least once a week. And I mean, crank run just what, three or four days ago. Mm -hmm. I guess last Sunday or whenever I cranked it. But um, we had a hard time cranking it this morning. Um, but we hadn't run this boat since what, what did we figure, April or May? Uh -oh, yeah. We just got a hit. Get ready. I think we're fixing to have a fish on. He knocked the doo-doo out of it. So uh, we hadn't run this boat since April or May. And uh, when we got out here, it didn't want to go. So we had to choke it a little bit, get it going. But once we got it going, I think we kind of blew all that little nasty gas and stuff out. So um, what do you think? Yeah. We thought we were gonna have to put it up and go back and get the big hazard instead of the little hazard. <laughs> this boat, we're in a 19 foot Sea Pro, 1994 boat. 1992 yeah. motor, 115, uh -huh. carbureted, Carburetor. which is a good one. It was a good motor. Uh -huh. Cranking it was like like this morning. I was gonna crank it. I was gonna back in. He's like, okay, well, it's pretty simple. You just put put the throttle on gear a little bit, pull the choke out, crank it. It'll crank right up. <laughs> it's like it's not working. 15 minutes yeah. later. It's like, oh, well, you gotta pull this choke out, turn this one in, just barely tap it, count to 15. <laughs> it's tap, like tap your heels together three times and say, there's no place like fishing spot yeah like i actually made that up <laughs> you know if you have to do all that to crank a motor there's probably something wrong yeah. maybe we need to clean something you should be able to just walk in crank he, it up maybe a little choke the suzuki kicking his own <laughs> i thought we were getting a bite we may have to check that let me pull it up and check it oh i told you something did it? <laughs> <laughs> right. i never doubted you yeah all right so yeah i seen him pop that Pop the doo-doo out of it, so we get one more hit over here, and we're going to be switching some of those others. You want to go into that hard part? Uh, you can try it. See if that works. Hard part of the head. Yeah. 
Wow, yeah, that was fast. Uh, we put oh. we, no. we switched it out with uh, the greenie. Put a put a greenie like the first two hits. Is this one in your way? Uh -uh, I think we're good now. Alright. We're making a run for the boat. Might be coming up. <laughs> River monsters. Yeah. Custom net. You can't find them in a store like that, can you? <laughs> we didn't do this, by the way. We found this guy, so it was already done. I think these are some bad boys today, aren't they? Yeah. Big fish. Excuse me, buddy. I mean, that one hadn't even got down in the water hardly. Yeah. That's where your face hooks. Leave it in the mouth of her nose. Yeah. <laughs> He's gonna go in my seven back to the briny deep. Yeah. We were at a seminar. Yeah. And this this captain was it was a Wahoo seminar. It was years and years ago. And um, the guy was like, yeah, he pulls out this lure right here. I catch Wahoo three to one on this lure. So so dad raises his hand. <laughs> and the guy's like, yes, sir. He's like. Well, if you catch them three to one, why don't you run more of them? That's right. And he's like, uh... You get three times as many fish. Good question. <laughs> so maybe now he runs three to one. Yeah, though. I don't know. Probably one of those. We'll circle back to that. <laughs> you know? That one's on dang. Oh, dang. Yeah. Dang it. Yeah, yeah, broke. Uh... Right, oh, look. oh, dude, all, all of them. That one got hit. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, you got that one. No, dig it off. That got hit, and this popped out. That one looked like it got a hit too. It looked like all three. It looked like you were getting a hit. You think that's a redfish that's breaking it? I mean. Could be. Um, yeah, I heard of guys. Yeah, bull sharks. I and mean, bull sharks can go in the fresh water. And I've heard of them. Um, you know, them biting redfish at the boat. Yeah, you, know, you get the biggest ones because they're breaking your lines. Cause that's what. That's, that's gonna be our cue. Yeah. Hold on, Kayla. Said, hold on. How do you think it is on the other side? Yeah. Alright guys, had a good hit. Some of our lines got hit, but they got cut off. I don't know if you wouldn't think the redfish were doing it. They don't have that sharp of teeth, but um, could be bull sharks or something. We'll keep trying. All your, all your ones. Hey, you might have caught that ship coming down there, Kayla. Yeah. Got it? Okay. Hey, it ain't even turned. Why don't you sit down on the fighting ship? Yeah. Need to bring our cushions. Yeah. Is it starting to come back this way now? Yeah. Put it in low gear so she has some cranking power. Yeah, that one ran a pretty good ways. Yeah, he stripped some mud off. Uh-oh. Oh, dang, did he break? No, he didn't. I felt like something maybe got him. Yeah, the way he made that second wind. I wonder if it was like a shark the got him. Wind, it was fine, it was just all of a sudden like... How's it going? Good, Jeremy, how you doing, buddy? Doing good. I think we're about. It's it's just switching. It'll be going out. I guess we're just turning over. Did y'all get some uh, live crab? 
Um, we got some crab or so-so on the lively. <laughs> Uh, but most of the ones we've been get, getting hits on is on uh, some frozen pilterage. Yeah. I don't think being close to bow then, you know, calm down, all of a sudden it felt like something grabbed it and took it. Cause yeah, that, it went, seen the way it it went like it took it. down. Yeah, because it was kind of close and then it just went out. Mm -hmm. But then it was pulling cool, like down, like, yeah. 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 This is okay. I guess um, experience out here. it's a yeah, it's a little rough. I mean, a redfish's body isn't rough. I don't know if a shark. I think it has. Is he on there? Yeah, no, he's there. Dang. Can you tell this over there? It's moving, whatever it is. Dad got one too. Uh, I think it could be the bottom. All right, you got it, Kayla. You use that fighting chair, yeah. So you use the legs and you push back. You almost got mother cut. Might be the one we're looking for, Kevin. Yeah, yeah. Oh, it's a manta ray. Yeah, Big old stingray. Oh, my it's wrapped around there a couple times. Oh, man, yeah. Can you see which way that was wrapped? Sting a ray from. What was that on? The crab? Um, no. I think the crab was on the downrigger. This, yeah. Micro's behind us? I think we're moving. Yeah. Did it come loose? Or did it have to pull the anchor rope with the hook? This is weird, what are we? We're drifting, right? You think it's an anchor rope, maybe? Uh, Why would an anchor rope be back there anyway? I don't know. Pretty, uh, pretty fast there at the beginning, pretty steady. And very slow at the end. Yeah, slack tide came and it slowed down, which we expected, but current's running and it hasn't picked up. It's going out now, I don't know. Not even knocked down. Yeah, we went to a different spot, trying it here, but nothing. It's kind of weird, I don't know. I don't get why they're, uh, you know, where'd they go? They were here. I guess they're just moving through, maybe it's just bad timing. And the sharks ate them all. Yeah, think those were sharks or? I don't know. You know, we we had those four in a row that were either bit off or cut off. Yeah, that yeah. one was definitely grabbed yeah. by something. Yeah, could be structure down there that they're running to. Could be. Yeah. Yeah. Ended it with a stingray. Yeah, big old stingray. Too. And <laughs> caught us an anchor. An anchor. No, that's what we ended it with was the yeah, anchor. Yeah, the anchor. That was uh, so pretty you tough. Yeah, need an anchor. If you lost one, let us know. We'll yeah. Identify it as yours. <laughs> yeah. Well, thanks for watching the video guys hope you guys learned some things i'll include some links to our uh, tackle and gear we used also we've got new shirts out if you see on the bottom of you know the youtube right there on uh, teespring some cool t-shirts we've got designs kayla made 
from some of the fish we caught. So we got a cool mahi one out now. So if you guys need a t-shirt, check our uh, page out. Yep. Yep. Look good. <laughs> Thanks for watching the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time.